Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, Jesus in the Quran and the Bible. Um, we'll skip through the etymology because uh, I think that uh, you know we could go on forever with why he's referred to as Isa in the Quran, whereas Arab Christians refer to him as Yasu. Um, in the in, in the Greek New Testament, it's uh, Ye Yeshua, uh, etc. But let's come to the the, the stories about Jesus himself. Uh, with regards to the crucifixion um, of Jesus in the Quran, the Quran seems very uh, deliberately ambiguous, if that's a nice way of putting it, about what exactly happened to Jesus during his last hours on earth. So do you feel that uh, when it says, Wama kataluhu, wama salabuhu, they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him? Uh, my, my first question as a non-Arab speaker is, uh, should it not be the other way around, that they didn't crucify him nor did they kill him. So why is it back to front, if I may ask? Why is it that way? Yeah. That's a great, yeah, great question. Uh, as you may know, some Arab grammarians speak about something as known as taqdim wa ta'khir, which means the Quran sometimes might put things out of order for rhetorical purposes. So that's one possible explanation. Another more historical explanation is that uh, crucifixion was not only used by the Romans as a method of execution, but also as a method of uh, public dis display and humiliation um, of accused criminals. Uh, and in fact, in early Islam, uh, this practice continued. Um, there's a great book by someone named Sean Anthony on crucifixion. I think it goes on to say as death and spectacle. And it's spectacle because even in early Islam, but also in the early Roman period, um, figures would sometimes be killed in one way, but then their bodies would be hung up. This is gruesome talk. <laughs> their bodies would be hung up for display, both as a humiliation, um, uh, but also uh, as a for further punishment because you're depriving them of burial, which was important, yeah. and as a method of warning. Um, so that's a historical explanation that some people say that's why it's the killing comes first and the crucifixion comes next. Okay, so in other words, is be, uh, so crucifixion wasn't actually a way to put people to death. It was kind of like a torture and uh, as a deterrent, uh, you know, to, to deter people from. Yeah, but not a, not a torture, according to this explanation, this historical explanation. It was for spectacle. It was just a okay. way... I mean, I mean, these these are horrible things to talk to talk about. But you know how um, people might uh, behead someone and then put the after they've beheaded them, put their head on a yeah. stake, yeah, as yeah. as a warning and a humiliation. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, I think that that really uh, explains it very well because, uh, uh, and that was always something on my mind, which I really am glad that you answered that really well. 